Okay, this video is on what to do if you get a pelican or a bird caught in your fishing line while you're surf fishing. You know, it's going to happen. Eventually, you're going to be out there on the beach and you're going to have three rods in the sand and here comes a squadron of pelicans. And, you know, you can grab one of your rods and lower the tip, but those other two rods are probably going to um, catch one of them eventually in your career on the surf. So, the important thing to remember here is, is when that happens, you just want to make sure that you don't just cut the line. You know, there's a there's a really good site. Your you know my FWC, which is Florida Fish and Wildlife. If you go to myfwc.com forward slash unhook, you know this this site has a nice video, and um, the important thing to remember is is just don't cut the line carefully start reeling in that pelican and it's going to take a while you know you may want to go reel in your other two rods so they don't snag another pelican or catch a fish that you won't have time to reel in so start reeling that bird in slowly and um, once you get that bird in uh, you, you know try to enlist some help uh, but the easiest thing to do is is to take a jacket or a towel and throw it over the head of the pelican. Now, if it's a small bird, you know, same thing. If you throw it over their eyes, it's going to calm them down. The next thing to remember is, is when you grab the beak of that pelican, you know, try to get your fingers inside of his mouth so his mouth is open a little bit because if you grab his bill all the way around, you know, he's not going to be able to breathe. You could you could kill him. So put your fingers inside uh his beak and you know it won't hurt you a bit and uh, and then you can uh, concentrate on cutting the line off most of the time what you're gonna find is you know you're not gonna have a hook in the bird what's gonna happen is is you're just gonna have the their wingtip will become ensnarled in the mono and that'll take them to the ocean and uh, it'll it'll be pretty easy to cut it out uh, you're gonna need a few tools to uh, get the job done, make sure you have a nice pair of stainless diagonal cutters because if for some reason there is a hook in that bird, the easiest thing to do is just push the hook all the way through and cut the barb off and remove the hook, no matter what type of bird it is. Uh, the other thing you're going to need, which you're probably going to have in your arsenal, is uh, large nail clippers to cut the line and uh, I wouldn't use a knife to too much chance of hurting the bird. And uh, what I like to do is I like to take and put my nail clippers on a lanyard. And they're always where I need them when I'm tying on a new rig on the beach. So, uh, but that's it. You know, that's all you got to do is, is slowly reel the bird in, calm them down. And like I said, if you've got an extra person on the beach with you, ask for help. You can do it yourself, though. I've done it. It's no fun. Once you get first... You know, through a couple of uh, events like that, it'll it'll be easier on you. So, uh, but that'll do it. And keep in mind that all these links for these products, you know, I'll have for you on the information portion of the video. Uh, I'll also have the uh, the link to that video, so you can watch that on the my FWC site. And and that'll do it. I hope I've helped you, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe and tell your fishing buddies as well. That'll do it for this video.